guys, so for today's video, I am going to be watching the next Harry Potter film, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The things that we know about the Phoenix are that it dies and it becomes, and it re is reborn from the ashes, and Dumbledore has a Phoenix. So I think it has to do with that Phoenix, and maybe it has a mom that's like a bigger Phoenix. I don't know. I truly don't know. Maybe Harry's gonna be reborn from the ash. Maybe Voldemort. I didn't think about that. Anyway, what we know so far is that with each year that passes, Harry is becoming more responsible than the entire, <laughs> than the, the, uh, the teachers and the staff of Hogwarts. So something's gonna fall on his shoulders, Voldemort's back, and it's gonna be up to Harry and the crew to figure it all out again. I'm, I'm sensing that's a, an ongoing theme. And on top of that, um, it's getting much darker and much more serious, and I don't know how much darker it can get. So we're gonna see today. But if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. If you're not, and you're watching along with me and have with the past few videos, thank you so incredibly much. I really appreciate it. If by the end of the video you want to see my full-length commentary where there's no edits and it's all the jokes, all the comments, the full reviews, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into the next Harry Potter film, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So let's get into it. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. I would never have expected Harry Potter to just ha have such horror-esque tones to it. <laughs> he looks so handsome there. What is this, a group of thugs? At least I'm not afraid of my pillow. <laughs> Don't kill Cedric. Who's Cedric? Your boyfriend. <laughs> He's going to kill me, Mum. Where is your mum? How did he turn into that? It's been like a year. <laughs> kill him! <laughs> Listen, if Harry can just summon the rain like that, I don't understand why he just does- I know- I know it's something else, but... How did Dudley turn into a thug with a gold chain? This is a lie. Dudley can't run that fast. Oh, this is a perfect place to murder Dudley. What the butt? Is that a Dementor? Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's not dead, so you don't have to do any explaining. Mrs. Fig. Don't put away your wand, Harry. They might come back. I don't understand. How do you know about- Don't pull, though. Ask me to keep an eye on you. Now, <laughs> get inside and stay there. I like how no one cares about Big D. Well, of course. Who did this to you, boy? You've finally done it. Look at him, Petunia. Our boy has gone yumpy. Yumpy? What are these new words he's inventing right now? No. What? He saved a muggle. Voldemort's making a PB and J in the kitchen. Professor Moody, what are you doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Dumbledore has persuaded the minister to suspend your expulsion. Oh, very nice. That's what I figured. Where's Hedwig? You can't just forget Hedwig every single time. This is the second time. Second movie. Ooh. How uh, intimidating. Her hair changes color by mood. In you go, son. <gasps> Hi! Hello. Harry. Mrs. Weasley. No time to explain. Straight upstairs. First door on the left. She has such a motherly quality to her. She's so warm. I like her a lot. I like her character. Oh. Oh, Harry! Are you all right? And this hearing at the Ministry. It's completely unfair. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around at the moment. So what is this place? The Order of the Phoenix. It's a secret society. Dumbledore formed it back when they first fought you-know-who. Only Dumbledore made a swear not to tell you anything. Well, but why would he want to keep me in the dark? I'm the one who fought him. I'm the one who saw Cedric Diggory get killed. Harry! They look so much older here. They look like mid-twenties. I don't understand. What has the Ministry of Magic got against me? We'll find out soon enough. It seems like everybody around him knows everything, and they purposely don't want to tell him anything. But they trust everyone else, right? Fudge isn't in his right mind. It's been twisted and warped by fear. We believe... Voldemort may be after something. 
Serious. Something he didn't have last time. That's enough. He's just a boy. Good. I want to join. If Voldemort's raising an army, then I want to fight. But if he's after Harry, then, which I'm assuming that's what they were trying to say. I've never used a visitor's entrance before. Should be fun. Is he doff? I feel like daft is a word that only the English really use. You never hear that in American English. I've changed the time of your hearing. When is it? In five minutes. What? Maybe a, a sooner heads up would have been in order. Yes, but you? Must. Harry hasn't seen him since. Yikes. Big yikes. Keep calm. You've done nothing wrong. Good luck, Harry. Disciplinary hearing of offences committed by Harry James Potter. Witness remote. for the defence, Dumbledore. Got our message that the time and place of the hearing had been changed, did you? By a happy mistake, I arrived at the ministry three hours early. They tried to change it up on him so he couldn't attend. Charges against the accused are as follows. Produce a Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. He's going to speak out of turn. Don't think anyone would believe that the mentors were there by coincidence, Minister. You were suggesting that the ministry had ordered the attack on this boy. And that would be disturbing indeed, Madam Undersecretary. The ministry will be mounting a full-scale inquiry on why they mounted an attack without authorization. You know, playing the denial game is just going to make things worse. The law clearly states magic may be used before muggles in life-threatening situations. In favor of conviction. I'm going to remember their faces and I'll hate all of them. I hate you. I hate- okay. Those in favor of clearing the accused. Heck yeah. They see reason. Cleared of all charges. The fact that they had to have an entire trial. Are you barking, Matt? Sirius, what are you doing here? I don't want to see you get shot back in Azkaban. Don't worry about me anyway. Is he not wearing a shirt under his jacket? What a look. Quite a fashion statement. Original Order of the Phoenix. Do you really think there's going to be a war, Sirius? It feels like it did before. You'll keep it. I suppose you're the young ones now. Why is the ministry still letting you walk around? I was- Oh my god, that's what I was thinking! I didn't want to say this, but the reason I started smiling is because I was thinking while they were on the train, I'm like, as soon as they got off the train, you know Draco's gonna come through and yell something at, at Potter. He's gonna be like, Potter! And then insult him and just try to start something. What is it? Things pulling the carriage, Harry. Pulling itself, like always. When did Jurassic Park enter the Harry Potter universe? You're not going mad. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Neville had his glow up. Look at him. He looks so sensitive and adorable. Good evening, children. Welcome our new defense against the dark arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. She won it. She was against Harry and she's here now. She was at my hearing. She works for Fudge. Thank you, Headmaster. She's a spy. She's a plant, a mole. Good morning, children. Of course it was her. She's evil. Ordinary wizarding level examinations. More commonly known as Owl. She, so, oh my gosh, she is the worst type of teacher. It is the view of the ministry. Theoretical knowledge would be sufficient. How's theory supposed to prepare us for what's out there? Who do you imagine wants to attack children? Lord Voldemort. Yeah, yeah, that's valid. You have been told that a certain dark wizard is at large. This is a lie. I saw him. I fought Detention! Him. See me later, Mr. Potter. My office. Oh, she's going to be the worst professor. Gladly argue it out, bro. Good evening, Mr. Potter. You're going to be doing some lines for me today. I want you to write, I must not tell lies. She's sick. What a sicko. What's wrong with your hand? Nothing. Harry, you've got to report this. Perfectly simple, you're no, being- No, it's not. Hermione, whatever this is, it's not simple. I like how it, now that they're teenagers, everyone's edgy. Dear Padford, I hope you're all right. It's starting to get colder here. In spite of being back at Hogwarts, I feel more alone than ever. I know you, of all people, will understand. Hello, Harry Potter. Just ask her what they are, please. What are they? They're called Pestrels. <laughs> They can only be seen by people who've seen death. We both believe you, by the way. But I suppose that's how he wants you to feel. 
What do you mean? Well, if I were you know who, I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. She's right. She's got this girl got insight. Oh my gosh, she has meat in her purse. Just like raw meat in her in her cloth bag. She, you're gonna wash that, right, girl? You're questioning my authority in my own classroom. To question my practices is to question the ministry. The one thing I will not stand for is disloyalty. You're being corrected for doing something incorrectly. Things at Hogwarts are far worse than I feared. What? What? I hate her so much. She sucks so bad. <laughs> Obviously. I really, I love Snape actually. Like, I really, really like him. He's, for some, he, I don't know why, he's just become one of my favorite characters. Obviously. Could you please predict something? One teensy little prophecy? I, I think I do see something. Yes, I do something dark. You are in grave danger. Lovely. She doesn't even care. So, what, what's going on? It's Professor Trelawney. Well, they're kicking her? What? She's so sweet. Somebody strangle this woman. Like, I just want to- Oh my god, I want to beat her up with like a two by four. I- Ugh. 16 years, I- Oh god, this is my home. I can't do this. Actually, I can. And I did. I hate her. Something you'd like to say, dear? Dumbledore, you better drop kick this woman. Make sure she can never speak again. I hate her. Everybody dislikes her. She is a menace, a tyrant. Might I ask you to escort Sybil back inside? May I remind you? You have the right to dismiss my teachers. We do not, however, have the authority to banish them from the ground. That power remains with the headmaster. For now. So she's going after more power? Professor. Dumbledore's Professor. just ignoring Harry. I don't like that he's pretending that Harry, Harry doesn't exist. That's like, he's gaslighting him right now. Harry! Sirius! You said you were worried about Umbridge. Sirius, he's not letting us use magic at all. The latest intelligence is that Fudge doesn't want you trained in combat. What does he think? We're forming some sort of wizard army. That's exactly what he thinks. Is the Ministry with Voldemort? Voldemort is on the move. It looks like you're on your own. They still haven't answered where Hagrid is. This is mad. Who would want to be taught by me? I'm a nutter, remember? You all know why we're here. We need a teacher. One who's had real experience defending themselves against the dark art. Why? Why? Because you know who's back here, Tosspot. Why are you even here? It's a tree you can produce for Patronus Chime. Uh, and he killed a basilisk with the sword in Dumbledore's office. And last year, he really did fight off you-know-who in the flesh. Wait, facing this stuff in real life is not like school. They're joining the newsletter. Aw, cute. First, we need to find a place to practice where Umbridge won't find out. Harry, what happens if Umbridge does find out? Who cares? <laughs> anyway, at least we know one positive thing that came from today. Cho couldn't take her eyes off, could she? I felt like nobody could take their eyes off him. Like, nobody. the room of requirement. The room of requirement only appears when a person has real need of it. It's like Hogwarts wants us to fight back. Hogwarts is alive. Expelliarmus! <laughs> You're just flourishing your wand too much. Try it like this. Expelliarmus! Oh my gosh! You're so... Filch, you're such a snitch! I'll go easy on you. Thanks, Roland. <laughs> I let her do that. What if the exit is in a different place? Or the door changes areas? Yup! A little higher. Cringe! Working hard is important, but there's something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. I love that Hogwarts, it, its walls itself are just messing with people. Messing with, with like Draco and Filch and everyone. I love that. Even Hogwarts is like, yeah, snitches get stitches. We're not, I, you guys suck. I'm not helping you guys out. I'm helping the cool kids out. Now we're not gonna be meeting again until after the holidays. So just keep practicing on your own as best you can. And well done, everyone. Great, great work.
I feel like she's not big enough character for him to get with her. Them um, to get together. I heard Umbridge gave you a rough time the other day. Yeah, it's worth it. You're a really good teacher, Harry. I've never been able to stun anything before. Ooh, is that it? Oh my. Ooh, okay. Spicy. Well, how was it? Wet. <laughs> I mean, she was sort of crying. Obviously, she's feeling sad about Cedric, and therefore confused about liking Harry and guilty about kissing him. Conflict because I'm just threatening to sack her mum from her job at the ministry and- One person couldn't feel all that explode. It's because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Shots fired. She's right, though. I feel like a lot of people just don't have that emotional range. Like, or, or maybe they handle it better. These aren't premonitions, are they? In the dream, were you standing next to the victim? Sir. Phineas! You must go to your portrait at Grimmauld Place. Tell them that Arthur Weasley is gravely injured. <laughs> Look at me! I'm afraid we can't wait, not even till the morning. Snape is like a vital aspect to all of this. Here's that there is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Prepare yourself. He's so well versed in all this stuff. I I love Snape. Let's clear this way. Oh, Harry, there you are. Happy Christmas. Thank you. Sure a I'm Christmas toast to Mr. Harry Potter, without whom I would not be here. Harry. Harry. No one else can see him. This is the Black Family Tree. My deranged cousin. I hated the lot. Andromeda. What a cool name. My mother did that after I ran away. I was 16. Where did you go? In your dad's. I just feel so angry. Something's gone wrong inside me. What if I'm becoming bad? I want you to listen to me very carefully, Harry. You're under a lot of pressure, Harry. You're not a bad person. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. Harry, time to go. When all this is over, we'll be a proper family. Sirius is so sweet. It's insane to believe that he's the scapegoat for, like, everything. He doesn't deserve any of that. He really is a good guy. I'm ordering you to tell me where you've been. Been away from me health. If I were you, I shouldn't get too used to being back. In fact, I mightn't bother unpacking at all. This is top secret. There's a lot of top secret things going on. There's a storm coming, Ari. We'd all best be ready when she does. She's from something. Like Edward Scissorhands or something. Notorious mass murderer Sirius Black, a cousin of the escapee Bellatrix Lestrade. Her estranged, his estranged cousin. Fourteen years ago, a Death Eater named Bellatrix Lestrange used the Cruciatus curse on my parents. I'm not sure I'm ready for everyone to know just yet. We're gonna make them proud, Neville. That's a promise. Neville seems like he's gonna be a bigger piece to the puzzle than initially thought. That's just kind of the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> A bunny! She also would be a bunny girl. So cute. I like how what they're coming up with really relates to how they are uh, as characters. I'll make short work of this. Father? She sucks so bad. Oh, somebody just launch her out of a window or something? Cho, are you kidding me? I instructed Harry to form this organization, and I and I alone am responsible for its activity. Shacklebolt, you will escort Dumbledore to Azkaban to await trial for conspiracy. I thought we might hit this little snag. You seem to be laboring under the delusion that I'm going to... What was the phrase? Come quietly. <laughs> I have no intention of going to Azkaban. He could just do that? Dumbledore's got style. Can this movie get any worse? Like, not that the movie's bad, but the story. I'm getting angry. God, she's so evil. I hope somebody can, like, put a colorblind spell on her so she can, like, have mismatching outfits and never know what- You did everything you could. Even Dumbledore didn't see this coming. I tried so hard to help, and all it's done is make things worse. Hagrid. Hagrid, why can't you just tell us? He likes to be secretive. 
Robbie! I couldn't just leave him because because he's my brother. What? What a kind je gift. He gets his own food and all. It's coming to him when I'm gone. He will look after him, won't you? I'm the only family he's got. Feeling sentimental. I've joined the family. Snape has entered the chat. <laughs> That's private. Not to the Dark Lord. It won't last two seconds if he invades your mind. We've been out of for hours. If I could just rest. The Dark Lord isn't resting. Life isn't fair. Your blessed father knew that. My father was a great man. Your father was a swine. <laughs> Protego! We're gonna see some of Snape. Sensei? Snape! Billy Armas! Nice one, James! Oh, he got bullied by his dad? Enough. Harry's dad was a bully! Get They're eventually still gonna have to take the, the owls. The blatant disrespect for authority, for bad authority. I love it. I love that. Well deserved. I need that. We're going with you. It's too dangerous. We're in this together. That you are. Uh, you were going to Dumbledore, weren't you? No. <laughs> the Cruciatus curse sought to loosen your tongue. That's illegal. Um, we're so good at like snitch. Tell her, Harry. Tell me what? Dumbledore's secret weapon. How much further? Huh? 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 <laughs> had to be somewhere students wouldn't find it accidentally. You were trying to trick me. I really hate children. Yeah, I, I got that. I think everybody and their mom got that feeling. You have no business here, Centaur. <laughs> In the car. She done fudged up. Please stop it. Please. Not enough. <laughs> Do something. Tell them I need no harm. I must not tell lies. <laughs> Get roasted. Yeah, she's. He's going to be in so much trouble when she gets back, if she gets back. How'd you get away? Puking pastels. I told him I was hungry and wanted some sweets. Of course, they told me to bugger off and ate the lot themselves. That was clever, Ron. So, how are we getting to London? I've got you into enough trouble as it is. Dumbledore's arm is supposed to be about doing something real. Or is that all just words to you? Maybe you don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. So how are we going to get to London? We fly, of course. She has such a softness to her. I really like her. It's got your name on it. And I think they're gonna bring it back to the actor that I like. Tra yeah, Trelawney. Oh wait, no, that's literally her. What? For neither can live while the other survives. What? Harry! Where's Sirius? You know, you really should have to tell the difference between dreams and reality. Let's everybody just calm down. It's a bit of a tense situation, right? Why did Voldemort need me to come and get this? Prophecies can only be retrieved by those. Haven't you always wondered what was the reason for the connection between you and the Dark Lord? He's gonna break it. He's so gonna break it. <laughs> he looks like that meme. You know where that um, chimpanzee is demanding that apple from that lady at the zoo? Yeah, he did that. Prophecies are being destroyed. Oh, they're gonna be in so much trouble. Get behind me. Do you actually leave to think Chud stood a chance? Look at his look at his fit. You know, he's like super proud of it. Give me the prophecy now. Watch your friend. Die. He probably can't read it, right? 
Get away from my godson. <laughs> he so deserved that punch. Not just I've got to mean it, Harry. You know the smell, Harry. But you can never come back if you do it. Do it. Ah! It was foolish of you to come here tonight, Tom. <laughs> They have a lot of explaining to do to the Ministry. Maybe they'll finally believe them. You've lost, old man. Ah! So weak. <sighs> Look at me, Harry. It isn't how you are alive, it's how you are not. Fight him, Harry. Snape trained you. You can do it. Get wrecked, Voldemort. He's totally right, too. I feel sorry for you. He's back. Yep, there's your proof. Now everybody believe? Everybody in unanimously believe now? Who took a photo of this? This is so sad. Well, I mean, she got took taken by the centaurs. It's my fault. No, fault is mine. The prophecy said neither one can live or the other one survives. One of us is going to have to kill the other. Yes. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to cause you any more pain. I cared too much about you. Oh, the Mordor softy. Let's grab him. I've been thinking about something Dumbledore said to me. But even though we've got a fight ahead of us, we've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. Oh. Time to go back to Big D. <laughs> Being in a posse where the leader's name is Dudley. I never know if there are after credit scenes. I always get so sussy. It's not. Okay. So I just finished watching Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix for the very first time. And a few takeaway things that I've really noticed about this film is that it had a really heavy, um, not motive, but heavy message regarding friendship and trusting your peers. So other than the heavy influences, the heavy friendship influences, it just had to do with a lot of it was, how do I say, mental strength. Um, Harry was really being taught by Snape that you have to be mentally strong, you have to kind of get through it. Like, it doesn't matter how what you've been through, it doesn't matter what you're going through, you have to stay strong, there's a reason to stay strong. I don't think people notice or talk about all too much, it's you just have to be strong and even if you're not, even if you're having trouble, you have people that will back you up. So that's where the friendship and kind of the bonding comes in. And it kind of just showed that Voldemort had none of that. He had no reason to fight. He has no reason for any of that stuff. Meanwhile, Harry and everyone has all of it. They have reason to fight. They have these bonds. They have the strength that they're learning. I feel like this was a good cornerstone for, it was kind of like a film that bridged the seriousness of Voldemort and the world of Harry Potter, like like of Hogwarts and wizardry and all that stuff. We're gonna see how this goes. I believe we only have two or three more movies. I think we have three more movies and the rest of them I'm believing is just gonna be fighting Voldemort and them growing as individuals, cultivating their bonds. But I don't know how they would extend it for three films because again, I haven't read the books. I don't know any of the Harry Potter lore. Um, so that's just my prediction, but this movie, I really did like it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.